Hello my class 10 students. This video is the solution of test on structures of organic compound class 10 of ICC chemistry. The link to this test will be somewhere here. So you check out on that. You can pause the video whenever you can and you can draw the structures on your own and check it with my solutions. Alright, so shall we begin? The first one is propanol. Remember the word prop means there are three carbons. So three carbons will be C single bond C, single bond C and carbon has tetravalency. So you are going to show four valencies for each. This all means the functional group that is OH which will be shown like this. This is your functional group. Don't have to make the circle. I'm just explaining this OH means it is all which is alcohol group and then you write all H's for each one of these valencies and that is our structure for propanol. Second one is ethanoic acid. So we have eth means two carbons. So we have carbon, single bond carbon because it is an, an means it is single bond and oic acid is going to be COOH group dash COOH group which means we will show double bond O here for this carbon and single bond O, single bond H. So this is COOH, which is the functional group. So our each carbon should have four valencies. So one, two, three, four. Each one will be taken by H. So this is your eth, uh, eth ane and oic acid. Okay, now one, two, dibromoethane. So the root word over here is eth, which means two carbons, n means single bond. So for our third structure, we will have two carbons with a single bond and we are going to show four valencies for each carbon like so. And it is one, two dibromo means for the first carbon, they will be Br and second carbon also there will be one atom of Br and rest of them the valencies will be occupied by H and this is a 1,2-dibromoethane. We come to the fourth one, 2,3-dimethylpentane. The root word is pent, that is five carbons and N over here means it is single bond. Okay, so we are going to have five carbons like this, this will be pent and each carbon because it is single bond each carbon will have to show four valencies so one two three four for this carbon this carbon has one two three four this carbon one two three four can you see that each carbon has four valencies now if you count from here this will become your one two three four five so second one will have methyl group so this one will be having ch3 group and the third one also will have methyl group like so. So it will be all H's here. And all these valencies of the remaining carbons, these will be occupied by hydrogen. Because these ones are all hydrocarbons. Okay, so we finish with four. Now the fifth one, the fifth one is ethyne. Eth means there are two carbons, ion means triple bond. So it will be C, triple bond C and one carbon this side and one carbon this side. So this becomes our ethyne. The sixth one is acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde is the one that will after oxidation produce acetic acid. Now acetic acid is the common name for ethanoic acid which means acetaldehyde is nothing but nothing but ethanol so eth means two carbons and an here means it's single bond and we have al for aldehyde group so this is a functional group will be dash c double bond o single bond h So this is the formula for acetaldehyde. Okay, number seven, three chloro, two methyl, pentan, one all. So the root word over here is pentane and means it will be having single bond. 
because this is coming from pentane. It means it is an alkane which has had some hydrogens substituted by chloro and methyl group. All right. So we will show five carbons and it is one all. So let us say this is where we write our OH because functional group over here is all which means it is alcohol group which is dash OH group. So we will write this dash OH here. So this becomes our first carbon. This will be second, third, fourth and fifth. Now each one of these carbons will be having four valencies shown like so. And we have three chloro, two methyl. Where is third carbon here? So three chloro means Cl will be here. Two methyl means this will be here a methyl group. Methyl group means CH3 group coming from methane which is CH4, right? So each one of these valencies will be shown like so. So this is the structure for our 3 chloro 2 methyl pentane 1 all. The 8 one is 2 bromo 2 methyl pentane 1 all. So now basically pentane 1 all is exactly the same. So this part will be the same. So quickly let us draw that 5 carbons and this is your O single bond H. So this is your 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th and 2 bromo 2 methyl. So for the second carbon there is bromine here and methyl here. So this is our methyl group and for each one of these carbons we will have 4 valencies per carbon and whichever valency is free that will be occupied by H. So this is our 8 one. We come to question 9. 3 ethyl 2 methyl pent 1 in. Now pent means there will be 5 carbons and in means there will be a double bond for the first carbon. So we will show C single bond C single bond C single bond C single bond C. So we have 5 carbons and the first one will have a double bond. So this becomes our number 1, this becomes our number 2, this becomes our number 3, this becomes our number 4 and this is our number 5 carbon. Now 3 ethyl means from here we will have an ethyl group. So this is our ethyl group with two carbons here. So it will be CH3CH2 and 2 methyl so it will be this one also will have a methyl group. Now I am drawing a little smaller font size so that you can understand this is the methyl group which is attached to the second carbon and that is our answer for question 9. Now we come to formic acid. Formic acid is remember it is methanoic acid and it is HCOOH. If you read backwards it is hooch. Remember that. That's a shortcut to remember formic acid. So we will have only one carbon there which is meth and then we will have uh, COOH will give us double bond O here and single bond OH. So which means we cannot have this valency. So this valency will have to go. So we will remove this and then this will be our H, the remaining valency. So this is your H-COOH. We come to propionaldehyde. This is the common name of propernal. So IUPAC name is going to be propernal. All right. So prop means there are three carbons. N over here means there are single bonds here and it is an aldehyde. So one of this carbon is going to be double bond O and single bond H. So this is your aldehydic group because of this word over here aldehyde. Hmm? Now each one of these carbons will show four valencies. So you have this, 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 this. Okay, so this is your propionaldehyde. We come to 12th. 1, 1, 2, 2, tetra, bromo, ethane. What is the root word eth? What does eth mean? These are two carbons. And we will show N means all single bonds. 
and there are one one two two means for the first carbon there are two bromines so we will have bromine here and bromine here for the second carbon again there are two bromines so one on either side and the remaining valencies will be filled by h so that is your one one two two tetrabromoethane this one will be exactly the same i'm sure you got this eth means c single bond c with all four valencies and for the first carbon there will be two chlorines so chlorine here chlorine here for the second carbon again chlorine here and chlorine here and this will be h and this will be h okay so this becomes your 1122 tetrachloroethane let us come to our 14th one this is dibromoethane root word eth which means c single bond c okay eth and then an an means single bond and 1 1 dibromo which means we are going to show all four valencies and for the first carbon it will be bromine here and bromine here so remaining valencies will be taken up by hydrogen what will happen if you write this bromine for this one not a problem then you start counting from here 1 1 dibromo because this bromine is attached to this carbon this becomes number one carbon and we say 1 1 dibromo ethane all right let us come to our 15th one we have 1 1 di bromoethene now eth is 2 carbon and ene means double bond so we will write 2 carbons like this with a double bond so this is your eth this is your ene and you will have 2 valencies of the carbon remaining still 1 2 3 4 valencies per carbon can you see that 1 2 3 4 yes okay now 1 1 di bromo so this will be bromine here this will be bromine here and then remaining it will be h and h so this becomes for the first carbon bromine bromine what happens if you write bromine here bromine here bromine here and here h and h then this will become one one dibromo okay let us come to the 16th one carbon tetrachloride carbon tetrachloride is very simple you should be able to do on your own this is your carbon tetrachloride there are four chlorines added to this carbon so carbon tetrachloride chloroform now chloroform is chcl3 this is trichloromethane the iupac name is trichloromethane or it will be methyl trichloride so we must remember this formula for chloroform it is used as local anesthesia so we will have carbon one carbon only and we will have three valencies taken by chlorine and one will be by hydrogen we come to number 18 we have 2 2 3 trimethyl butane so we have but means c single bond c single bond c single bond c this is your but single bond over here that is because of this ane it's an alkane and for the second carbon there are two methyls so there is one CH3 here, there is one CH3 here and I consider this as number one carbon. So here I will just show like this H, H, all H's like this and this is my number one carbon, this is my number two carbon, this will be number three carbon and this will be number four carbon. So trimethyl will mean here again you will show one more methyl. Now can you see the spacing was so little so I just dragged this on so you can show it like this in case you lack space to show your methyl group for adjacent carbon. Either do this, complete all the valencies, either do this or when it is second and third you can also write this as C single bond C single bond C so you will have enough spacing for the second carbon and the third carbon okay so you can show it slightly elongated bonds here so it becomes easier for you to attach the methyl radicals here okay so we have finished with this let us come to 19th one now a question 19 this is but 2 ine now can you see over here but means basically we have it is one two three four carbons okay and the second carbon if you call this as first second third fourth then there is ion over here so each one of these carbons will have to have four valencies now 
here the question is saying 2 2 dichloro so if i put chlorine here and chlorine here what does this carbon have this carbon will have 1 2 3 4 5 valencies and this carbon also 1 2 3 4 5 valencies so you can see that this one because of this 2 2 there is an error so here let us change this to 1 1 dichloro okay but 2 i if you change it to this then it becomes easier so you understood when we show something like this if the question is wrong if i show something wrong then remember you will get plus one mark gifted to you if you leave this as blank because there is no answer to that your teacher will give you zero so you must show something written at least so these are some of the rules for ICS. you show at least your attempt at writing the answer if you don't show the attempt that means you don't note it okay so you will be given a zero for that question so let us write it as four carbons like this and the second carbon will have triple bond which means for this carbon and this carbon all four valencies are fully satisfied so this carbon will have one two three four this carbon will have one two three four and you can have one one dichloro so it will be chlorine here and chlorine here and remaining will be H's. Now here I could have even substituted this as 1 comma 4 dichloro. If it is 1 4 dichloro and this but 2 ion remains as it is then what change we would have had in our structure. For the first carbon we will write Cl here. For the last carbon we will write Cl here and remaining all H's. So this would be this structure okay the one i'm showing in red that becomes the structure for 1 4 dichloro but if it is 1 1 dichloro then it will be chlorine here and chlorine here okay did you understand how this should be written okay now we come to number 20 for the 20th one we have but 2 in root word is but means it is c single bond c single bond c single bond c and the second carbon has double bond in means double bond okay what does in mean double bond so each one of these carbons will have to show four valencies so for this carbon one two three four for this carbon one two three four for this carbon one two three four and for this carbon one two three four all right now two three dichloro so if you count this as the first carbon, second carbon, third carbon and fourth carbon, then 2, 3 dichloro means this will be chlorine and this will be chlorine. And then the remaining ones will be like so. All the valencies will be occupied by H. Okay, so this was a short test for the 19th one. If you have attempted something over here, so gift yourself plus one mark and the remaining questions uh, check according to your structures written over here. And I'm glad there were errors over here because MCQ, semester one MCQ examination, you must have seen that there were errors in the paper. So if there are errors in the paper, this is the technique. And many a time for our structures, there are chances of you being given the wrong structure. Okay, so just attempt something at least so that you will get that one mark gifted. All right, so write your marks on 20, how much you are getting. So write your score and put this in the comment box in the meantime keep practicing keep focusing on your work make sure that your preparation is up to the mark and stay safe stay healthy bye